Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to change the app icons on any iPhone extremely easily. And it's kind of an interesting process. It's it's not quite like Siri shortcuts, but it is kind of the same thing. So in order to do this, what you want to do is, first of all, you want to make your way over to your app store and you want to download this specific app called Moloco or Moloco, whatever it's called. It'll be linked down below so you can go ahead and just, you know, install it that way. Now, once you go ahead and have it installed, basically what it is, is it installs a profile on your phone, which then in turn can go ahead and install these icons like however way you want to. Now, it is a little bit different because it still basically directs you or redirects you to there. So if I go and open up TikTok, it opens up this blank page and gets in the TikTok actually. But the thing is, is that it also gives you all other app icons. So it'll give you other apps that you don't even have. Like I don't have any of these app icons. I don't think I don't have Excel. I don't have either one of these. So keep that in mind, but other than that, it's perfectly fine. So once you go ahead and have this app downloaded, what you wanna do then is you want to open it. You'll come to a page that looks like this. Now, my Wi-Fi here is very weird, so we're just gonna to have to roll with it. But here, you can go ahead and basically install any one of these app icons that you want to. So you can go ahead and scroll through any, you know, whichever ones you like. These are all, I think, community-based. So let's say you wanted to go ahead and install these app icons. Let's say you wanna do these ones. Well, you would go ahead and click on it and you'll see two different things here. You'll see system apps, and then you'll see third-party apps. So system apps are things like your phone calls, your Safari browser, your music, different things like that. Your third-party apps, on the other hand, are things like you know YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. So go ahead and determine which specific apps you wanna go ahead and install. You would go ahead and click the download button. It'll go ahead and take you over to that app.com website. And here, it'll go ahead and prompt you to basically download those specific things and it'll go ahead and give you a thing that'll say allow or deny if you've seen other tutorials you know how it is you basically just click allow when it comes up again my wi-fi is being weird and once you go ahead and click allow you want to go ahead and make your way over to your settings app you want to scroll down into general you want to scroll down again into profiles and you want to go ahead and find that specific you know profile that you just downloaded which should say you know the name of your specific theme that you just downloaded. So in this case, it was Oreo system apps for me. And you would go ahead and click trust or allow and let it just allow through until you see this remove profile icon and do the same thing for the other one as well. And when you go ahead and do that, you'll pretty much see that you now have all these system apps all over the place. You'll have these ones, you'll have all over that, you know, just all of them. Now, once you go ahead and see them, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and find the specific ones that you actually have on your phone. So in this case, I have Snapchat as an example. So once you go ahead and click Snapchat for the first time, you'll be prompted to basically open up Snapchat on your other app or just in this app in general. So once you go ahead and click open, it'll go ahead and automatically open up to you, hopefully in Snapchat, maybe not, I guess we'll see. In this case, that one didn't work. We'll go ahead and try Facebook. Again, same thing will happen, hopefully. But once you go ahead and allow it, you'll basically be able to click on the app just like this, and it'll go ahead and prompt you into that exact same app sooner than later. So that's pretty much how you do it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.